Hello and welcome back to FIT. My name is Lena and I'm going to guide you through a yoga for runners flow. So in today's class, we're going to target most of the common ailments that we get as runners, but more specifically, we're going to look at engaging the hamstrings and clearing that sciatic area so that we can get longer in our stride and get more from our run. So when we're ready, we're going to get started in a seated position on our mats. Good. So once you're here, just extend the legs forwards. Try to remove the flesh from underneath your sit bones. And I just want you to check into the hamstrings first before we start flowing. So notice how easy or how difficult this pose feels as you start your practice today. Once you're here, I want you to inhale, take hands up overhead. Good. And exhale, just grab hold of opposite elbows. Good, we're gonna slowly make our way down to a lying position. Use your core to control that movement. And then once you're here, just let the head relax down to the mat. We're going to just start to connect to the breath. So just gently close the eyes and notice how you're feeling today. If you've just come back from a run, this pose is going to feel great. <laughs> Good. And just let yourself settle down. Good. Start to notice any sensations going through the body. Noticing, while we take a quick scan, any areas that might be tight or holding onto some tension. Good. And we begin to alter the breath. So on your next inhale, take a huge breath in through the nose. We're gonna hold the breath at the top and I want you to notice how the body starts to tighten up as we hold this breath. Keep holding, keep holding. And then slowly exhale through the nose. Feel the body deflate. We'll go two more breaths like this. So take a huge inhale. We're going to hold this breath. Notice the back of the ribs expand. Keep holding, keep holding. And slowly exhale. Good, we go one more breath. Biggest one yet. Take a huge inhale through the nose. Once you're at the top, maybe see if there's space for one more breath and hold it. We're going to hold this one for a little bit longer. Good. Start to notice how the body starts to root down to the mat. Keep holding. And then slowly exhale. Good. You can start to blink the eyes open. I want you to squeeze the knees into the chest. Good. Take a big squeeze here. And as you exhale, just extend the left leg down. We're going to keep hold of the right knee. Once you're here, just interlace your fingers behind the thigh, just below the knee, and let that shin drop. Good. As we inhale, I want you to flex the feet, so put toes are pointing to the shins. And as we exhale, just start to gently extend that leg. And you'll notice this weird kind of electrical sensation going down the back of the leg. Good. And as we inhale, just drop that shin down. We'll go two more like this. On the exhale, we start to extend the leg. Maybe see if you can straighten the knee a little bit more in this one. Keep that foot flexed. One more. Inhale, we drop the shin. And as we exhale, we kick that foot up to the ceiling. Try to keep it extended here. Remember, with dorsiflexing that foot, we try to keep this habit in this practice so we pick up the habit in the run. As you next exhale, just see if you can slowly tilt your right leg to the left side of your mat. And you'll intensify this neural stretch that you're feeling. Hold it for one more breath. And exhale, just bring that shin back down and squeeze both knees into the chest. Good, we'll go other side. So slowly and gently just extend the right leg down to the mat and interlace the fingers behind the left knee. Good, and let that shin drop. Good, as we inhale, we're gonna flex the left foot this time, toes pointed towards the knee. Exhale, we extend the leg, same thing on this side. So this is gonna clear up our sciatic nerve here. Inhale, we drop the shin. So sometimes if you feel as though you're not flexible, and your hamstring stretch, sometimes it's the nerve that's actually blocked. So if we can clear this up, you might find that you can extend your leg a little bit more in the stretches that we find today. One more, inhale, drop the shin. Exhale, we extend that leg. Good, make sure that foot is nice and flexed. And as we next exhale, just slowly start to tilt the left leg towards the right side. Intensifies that neural floss that we feel. And exhale, just drop both of your legs down to the mat. Good. As we inhale, we extend the hands up to the ceiling. Fingers are nice and active. If you need to rock up, you can do so. We're going to try and control our way up back into our forward fold. So slowly as you inhale, we're just going to roll. Use the core to help you here. 
Come back into this pose that we found at the beginning of the practice. And I want you to see if it feels a little bit clearer, a little bit easier than it did at the start. Maybe there's a forward fold for you here as well if you just want to stretch out the hamstrings a little bit more. Good, and as we next inhale, just cross one leg over the other. We're gonna roll over to our tabletop position. If you need to readjust yourselves on the mat, you can do so. And again, we're gonna keep the feet nice and flexed in our tabletop as well. Good, as you next inhale, I want you to extend that right leg all the way back. Foot is nice and flexed. And as we next inhale, left hand extends. We're gonna activate the glutes and the hamstrings. So think about kicking that leg slightly higher up. Hold it for one more inhale. And exhale, bring both limbs back down to tabletop position. Good, as we inhale, left leg extends this time. Foot is nice and flexed, we're trying to pick up that habit. Good, and next inhale, right hand extends forwards. Good, again, think about kicking that leg slightly higher up. Hold it for one more inhale. And exhale, just bring both limbs back down. Good, once you're here in your tabletop position, we're gonna extend the right leg back. Then the left leg back, come into your high plank position. So we're gonna activate the core here. Again, that core is really important when we're riding, so making sure it's nice and strong. I want you to gaze in between the fingertips. So you're gonna hold it here for an inhale. And as we exhale, just drop the knees down. You can relax the feet now. Drop chest and chin all the way down to the mat. Keep the hands underneath the shoulders. As we inhale, just slowly peel the chest off of the mat and then pull the hands off. Come into your baby cobra. We're gonna activate the lower back muscles here to protect our hamstrings. So hold it here for an inhale. And exhale, bring the hands back down. You can flex the feet here. We're gonna come into a downward facing dog just as a transition, so we're not going to hold it. So once the tailbone lifts, as you next exhale, just walk the hands towards the back of the mat. Good. Once you're here, we're gonna come into a ragdoll position. So a nice bend in the knees, especially if it's you know, the first time that we're finding a sort of forward fold. You can either let the hands hang heavy or grab hold onto opposite elbows. Good. And if there's a sway from side to side, you can feel free to do this just to clear up the lumbar spine. And we're gonna let the head hang heavy. Maybe give a quick shake of yes and no, just to release the neck. I'm gonna hold it here. I love this pose as well. It slowly starts to activate the hamstrings without you realizing. Good, hold it here for one more breath. And exhale. If you're grabbing hold onto opposite elbows, just let the hands hang heavy. Good, and as we inhale, we're gonna to start to walk ourselves back to our high plank position. Good, so once we're here again, engage that core, squeeze the glutes, hold it for an inhale. As we exhale, option to drop the knees or go for your half, press up your chaturanga, lower down. Good, untuck the toes here. As we inhale, come into your cobra. You can lift the chest slightly further up, keep the elbows nice and bent. Exhale, just slowly and gently make your way back into your downward facing dog, just as a transition. As we inhale, come up high onto your tiptoes. And as we exhale, just slowly tiptoe, this time to the front of your mat. Good, so once we're here, find a forward fold. So I like to bring a huge bend in the knees. My hamstrings are always tight as a runner. So. I like to connect belly to the thighs and then see how much I can straighten the knees. Good, let the head hang heavy, hold it here. Maybe just check into the hamstrings, how are they feeling at this point? Okay, slowly and gently, I just want you to bend the left leg as much as you can. And we're gonna to start to straighten the right leg. And you'll find this weird electrical sensation. Again, this is another neural floss, a little bit more intense than the ones that we found at the start. If it's available to you and you feel good, perhaps as you inhale, right hand lifts to the sky to find a revolved forward fold. Hold it here for an inhale. And exhale, just bring both hands back down and bend both knees, good. We're gonna go other side, so huge bend in the right leg this time. Straighten the left leg as much as you can. And again, if it's available to you, perhaps as you inhale, left hand lifts, revolves forward fold. Hold it for an inhale and exhale. Find your forward fold once more and maybe see if you can start to straighten the knees a little bit more. Hold it for one more breath, take an inhale and exhale. Good, as we inhale, bring both palms to the front of the mat. And as we exhale, just a huge step back with only the right foot. We're gonna drop that back knee and keep that back foot nice and flexed. As we inhale, hands lift, find your low lunge. Good. Exhale, sweep the hands down, frame that front ankle, come to your half split, so extend that front leg. Good, so that's the mini flow we're gonna find. So we're gonna do that two more times. As we inhale, hands lift, sweep the hands up, stretching that right hip flexor. 
exhale, hands come down, straightening that front leg, half splits. Maybe see if you can extend the knee a little bit more in this round. Good, we go one more time, inhale, hands come up, really stretching, maybe start to push the hips forwards. Exhale, sweep the hands down, frame that front ankle, extend the leg, half splits. We're gonna hold this half splits for two breaths, take an inhale. As we exhale, the body relaxes, so maybe see if you can start to straighten the knee a little bit more. Maybe if you feel good, the toes lift as well to find an intense hamstring stretch. One more breath. And exhale. Good, as we inhale, just slowly roll forward back into this low lunge position. I want you to come onto tented fingertips, almost as if you're starting a sprint race. We're gonna come into a runner's lunge, so slowly and gently we lift that back knee off of the mat. You can start to rock forwards and backwards, you know, make it look like you're about to start a sprint race. Just really raring to go. We're gonna find our most intense hamstring opener. So maybe just preparing for that. We're slowly gonna to start to shift the weight onto this left foot and lift that back foot off of the mat and really start to lift into your standing split. So this is gonna be a really intense opener for the belly of that hamstring on that left side. We're gonna hold it for one more breath, take an inhale. As you exhale, maybe see if you can pull the head closer to the shin. Good, take an inhale, just slowly release. And exhale, just plant that back foot down to the mat. We're gonna go through a vinyasa, so palms down, take that left foot back to meet the right. Come into your high plank position. Good, once you're here, take an inhale. And exhale, just lower down, chaturanga. Option is there to drop the knees as well. As we inhale, find in that cobra so you can untuck the toes. If you feel good, perhaps hips and knees lift into your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, just as a transition at this stage of the practice. As we inhale, come up high into the toes. Exhale, tiptoe the feet to the top of the mat. Again, finding that forward fold. And I just want you to check into the hamstrings. Maybe the left leg feels slightly more open than the right leg. Good. Hold it for one more breath, take an inhale. And exhale. Good. As we next inhale, just slowly take that left foot to the back of the mat this time. We're gonna drop that back knee and keep that back foot nice and flexed, good. As we inhale, low lunge, take the hands up again, same flow as we did on the other side. Exhale, we sweep the hands down and straighten that front leg, half split. So these half splits are gonna prepare us for that standing split. So two more times, inhale, roll through that low lunge. Good. Exhale, stand, or half splits rather. <laughs> We're not standing splits yet. Good, inhale one more time to your low lunge. And exhale, half splits, extend that leg. And again, we're gonna stay here for two full breaths, trying to explore the pose with every exhale. So maybe see if that right leg decides to straighten a little bit more. Maybe the toes lift if you feel good and you give a nice stretch to the calves. One more breath. And exhale. Good, as we inhale slowly, rolling forwards back into this low lunge position. Again, we're on tented fingertips here. As we next exhale, that back knee lifts, runner's lunge. Again, starting to rock forwards and backwards, giving a little bit more of an opener to that left hip flexor. Again, we're trying to target most of the common elements, so most of our hips will be tight if we're running, you know, most days. Good, so slowly and gently, we start to shift the weight onto this right foot. Maybe tiptoe that back foot, and again, we're gonna lift into our standing splits. Take that left leg as high as it can go. So for me, that's not very high. My hamstrings are very tight. We're gonna hold it here for one breath. As we exhale, maybe see if you can start to bring the head closer to that shin. Maybe there's a half bind for you, so maybe using your hand to pull yourself a little bit closer. Take one more breath. And exhale, just slowly plant that back foot down to the mat. Good, and again, vinyasa, we're gonna go through the high plank. Take an inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale through your back bend. Exhale into your first proper downward facing dog of the practice. So we're actually gonna hold this one. So with my downward facing dog, I like to bend my knees. The goal here is to have a nice straight back, but you will feel this in the hamstrings. Good, maybe there's a heel toe of the feet. Good. And we're gonna actually start to find a stable downward facing dog. We're gonna hold it for three full breaths. And with every exhale, again, remember that the body starts to relax. Maybe see if you can start to straighten the knees. Maybe if your knees are nice and straight, you can start to bring the heels down towards the mat. 
using your fingertips to really push the mat away. Good. Getting the crease of your elbows to start to face each other. One more breath. And exhale. Good, as we inhale, that right foot lifts up high to the sky, three-legged dog. Again, that's gonna intensify the hamstring stretch we feel in the left leg. As we exhale, right knee to the right elbow. Just activate the core first. Hold it here, keep hovering. And as we exhale, right knee down to the right wrist. We're gonna come into our pigeon pose practice. So start to walk that left foot back. Good. And I want you to find an active pigeon pose first. So I want you to see if you can start to squeeze the glutes to get that left knee hovered off the mat. Once you're here, maybe see if one hand comes to the chest. Maybe see if both hands come to the chest. That's gonna really challenge your glutes. Hold it here for one breath. And as we exhale, just slowly bring both hips down to the mat. Maybe one elbow stacks on top of the other, maybe in front of the other. Whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna start to wind down. So this pose is a godsend for really stretching out these external rotators that we hold in the outside of our glutes. Sometimes if they're really tight, it impinges that sciatic nerve and that's sometimes why we get pain down the back of our legs. So we're just gonna try and clear this area here. And it also helps to make us feel nice and relaxed. So we're gonna hold it for one more breath. And exhale. So slowly and gently, we're just gonna to start to walk the hands back towards the body and slowly come out of this pose. So walk both knees back towards each other and slowly come back into a downward facing dog. So if you want to, there's a quick shake of the body just to release that stretch and we're gonna go other side. So as we inhale, left foot lifts high, three-legged dog. Again, stretching that right hamstring one more time. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow. We're engaging that core, we want to make sure it's nice and strong, ready for our next run. And slowly just drop that left knee to the left wrist, finding that pigeon pose again on this side. Good. So again, we're gonna try to find an active pigeon pose. So we're gonna to try to squeeze the glutes to lift that right knee off the mat this time. Maybe one hand comes to the chest, maybe the other. If you do bring both hands to the chest, you're gonna feel this big engagement of the glutes. And as we exhale, just forward fold into your pigeon pose. Again, giving those external rotators, mainly the piriformis that we hold in that left side and the right side as well, which is always tight, especially if you're running a lot. This pose targets that, that muscle there. Hold it for one more breath. And exhale. Good. Slowly as you inhale, just walk the hands back to the body. This time we're gonna swing that right leg forwards and come into a seated position. Keep that left leg nice and bent. We're gonna come into our knee to head pose, our Janusya Sasana. So keep that left foot inside of that right thigh. And as we inhale, hands come up to the ceiling. Exhale, we forward fold into this beautiful hamstring pose. But we're gonna try and target the QL muscle today, which is that muscle that sits on the right side of your lower back. What I want you to do is slowly start to rotate the body so the chest is facing the left side of your mat. Good. And we're going to start to feel this muscle tugging down the lower back, mainly on the left side actually while we're stretching out the right hamstring. Good. And sometimes if this QML muscle is tight, it can take the pelvis out of its natural tilt, which can sometimes pull on those external rotators, again pulling on that sciatic nerve. So it's this big chain of things happening in the body. So we're going to just try and check into most of these things, making sure you're nice and cleared for your next run. One more breath, take an inhale. And exhale, explore the pose. As we inhale, hands come up. Good, we're gonna extend the left leg and bend the right leg, same thing on the other side. So sole of the right foot is inside of that left thigh. Next exhale, you're gonna forward fold. Good, feeling that left hamstring stretch. Good, as we inhale, we're gonna again start to rotate the chest towards the right side of the mat this time. And again, you're gonna feel this beautiful stretch down the lower back on that right side. We're gonna hold it here. Good. One more breath. Good. I love this pose. I love stretching out the QL muscle. It feels so good for the whole of the back and the posterior chain once you come out of this pose. One more breath, take an inhale. And exhale, just final deep stretch. As we inhale, slowly bring both hands back up. Feel the recoil of that stretch on that lower back. This time you're gonna extend the right leg. 
good. And I just want you to walk the heels slightly further away from each other. We're gonna come into this kind of wide stance. Good, and as we exhale, we're gonna forward fold. If the knees start to bend as you do this, which mine will because my hamstrings are super tight, you can allow them to do that. And this is gonna be our final resting pose of practice today. So usually you'd be lying down, but I want you to feel as though you can do this um, flow before a run, after a run. So I don't wanna make you feel too sleepy. And we're just going to start to let the head drop down. See if you can almost get the chin to tuck to the chest. It's going to stretch most of the back from the top of the neck all the way down to the lumbar spine. And I want you to see how much you can relax yourself here. We're just going to let gravity be our friends in this pose today. And see if you can start to find this kind of sense of surrender. If you want to, you can blink the eyes closed. So sometimes we can do this pose in a yin practice. So traditionally you could hold this for about five minutes. I'm not gonna make you do that, but I want you to see how much you can relax, giving those hamstrings one final moment to release. Maybe as you start to relax into this, notice any sensations going down the body, the hamstrings, the lower back, And if you are going on a run after this flow, maybe there's an intention that you wish to set for that run. Or maybe if you've come back from the run and this is your wind down flow, maybe you want to visit something, a goal that you might have reached in your run. Just any moment to give yourselves as we begin to wind down. So as you feel yourself relaxing into this pose, maybe see if you can really start to Maybe let go of the tension that the hamstrings are holding on to. Letting that top part of the body feel super heavy, almost as if you're coming into a complete forward fold. Just trying to relax into this pose. Just see how still you can keep this body for a few more moments. And if you feel as though the legs can be nice and straight after a few breaths in this pose, feel free to straighten the legs, finding any position that you feel you can be comfortable in. And we'll take three more full breaths. So really relishing in this pose. One final breath. And exhale, maybe there's a final pull forwards. Good, and as we inhale, we're slowly gonna come up to seated. You can start to blink the eyes open as you do this. Good, and once you're here, just slowly start to cross one leg over the other, coming into a nice, comfortable cross-legged position. Good, and again, if you wish to close the eyes, you can do so. We're gonna bring one hand to the belly and one hand to the chest. And again, just reconnect into the breath and to ourselves. So I just want you to notice how the breath is feeling. Try to notice the subtle rise and fall of the chest with each inhale and exhale. And as you feel nice and relaxed, maybe you start to visit an intention if you're about to go for a run. Or maybe you've just come back from a run and you want to revisit some goals that you might have accomplished or something that was good in your run, something that's gonna make you give yourself a little smile. And slowly and gently, we bring both hands together, thumbs to the forehead. Final moment of gratitude to yourselves and to your bodies for being able to move. And as we exhale, just forward fold to close your practice. And then just slowly just back up to seated. And there we go. Thank you so much for flowing with me. I hope your hamstrings feel super relaxed and loose and released. Um, and I hope to see you on the mat again sometime soon.